guys, Exaltech here. In this video, I've got a way to edit APK files on Android. For that, you will need to install a tiny app for the APK editor and I'll leave the link in the description for that app. Okay, here is the APK editor app. In this app, you can edit a specific APK file that is available inside your phone's storage space right here by selecting the corresponding APK file or else you can edit all the apps that are installed inside your phone. May it be the user apps or even the system apps that are pre-built inside your phone. Say for example, let me edit an APK file that is available in my phone right here. And there are actually three methods of editing available in the APK editor app, namely the full edit, the simple edit and the common edit. First of all, let us go with the common edit mode. So in this mode, you can change the launcher icon of the app by replacing it with the corresponding PNG file. And in the next one, you can change the app name to anything you wish. And here is the package name and actually changing the package name is more likely not to work depending upon the security of the app and in the way in which the app is built. And here you can change the default install location of the app by forcing it either to be installed on the internal storage or on the external storage. Because some apps are built only to be installed on the internal storage, so you can make use of the APK editor app and force them to be installed on the external storage too. And here we can customize the version code and the version name of the app as well. The next menu is my favorite one because this will help us to customize the minimum SDK version required by the app so that the app can be installed on our device. Say for example you have a device running Android KitKat and you need to install an app which requires the minimum SDK version of Android Lollipop so you can use this APK editor to change the minimum SDK version that is required by the app to 17 so that it will support Android KitKat or even lower versions. And here you can also change the target SDK version but that is not needed. Okay now let us move on to the simple edit mode which is also known as the file replacement mode. So here in this mode you can replace each and every file that is available inside the source code of the app and not only replacement you can also extract all the files out of the app. And say for example if I need to extract this PNG image just long press on it and click extract and go to the desired folder and click OK to save it in your internal storage. In the simple edit mode, we can only replace the files but we can't modify anything inside the files. So in order to help with modifying, we can use the full edit mode which is also known as the resource rebuild mode. So this is the ultimate level of customization of any Android app. You can edit anything in the app right from the main activity Java file or the XML files or you can change the accent color. Everything can be changed using this full edit mode but the success of installation of the app after editing depends upon the app that we are editing here. For making text animations and videos, I use an app called Pixelflow for Android. But this app in its stock mode has the Roboto Sans font as the default one which doesn't seem to look nice when it comes through the animations and videos. So I'll just replace the Roboto Sans font with the Product Sans font using the APK Editor app. And now I can get the Product Sans across the animation videos that I make. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm Deepak and this is Exaltech. I'll catch you guys in the next one.